Grow My Cleaning Company podcast helps owners of cleaning companies just like you to grow your company and yourself so you can make more money and finally get the time and money freedom that probably got you into this business. Discover how to automate and create systems that allow you to grow like crazy without losing control. If you dig the show and want to show some love, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. It really helps. Enjoy the show. What's up, Cleaning Nation? Lindsay here, and today we have a special episode that was pulled directly from our latest live event that we had with our Next Level and Millionaire Mastermind clients. It's actually one of our favorite sections to do, and our clients love it, is sales role-playing. So in this episode, this first episode of two, you're actually going to hear Renee, who is one of our clients. She is going to be pretending to be a residential prospect, calling into Mike's cleaning company, and Mike's going to walk through how he would handle um, speaking with with this prospect and the ins and outs um, he sees that goes good and bad with sales calls um, on this very first call. Stay tuned for next week when we do a commercial example of the same theme. Thanks a lot. And without further delay, here we go. Renee, semi-volunteered. Um, so come on up here. You're a commercial, correct? Residential. God bless it. I had a 50-50 chance. I got it wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, would you like to buy or sell, young lady? <coughs> buy. Bye. Done. All right. Um, oh, there's also two parts to the sale. One is the first part, which you can, we definitely want you kind of getting this out early, which is the phone call. That would be module 6.1 in the training. The second part is the actual walkthrough slash bid, which for residential, totally okay. Once you get a, a lead flow of five or 10 leads or, or bids that you're going to give a week, turn that over for commercial. Again, you want some, you know, if I've only got three or four bids per month and I'm not traveling, I'm probably going to do it myself. So let's start with the first one. Oh, and that's the other mistake that we make. One, we go with the wrong mindset. I'm going to do this to them, not for them. Two, if, the, if it hasn't been set up properly, the whole thing's, I shouldn't say the whole thing's shot, but the foundation is so important. If you set up the call right, the, the, it, it's so beautiful because if you set up the call right, the appointment itself is actually pretty easy. If you do the appointment itself very easily, there's no sale. You literally just go, that was your pain, you're all uncommitted, I can solve it, here's the thing. You're like, where's the presentation? Where do you talk about how great you are? And all, it's, it doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. So it's foundation. You get the foundation right, it gets very easy to build the next step. You get both of those right. There is no sale. They literally just sign up because all you've done is, is help them understand their problem, help them understand what it's costing them. And when you go, here's the solution, it should just be like, okie dokie, right? Okay, so let's do the call first. Mm -hmm. And then if you still want to do the uh, in-person, we can do that. Okay, so uh, I will sit because I'm lazy. And if I was going to take a phone call, I might be sitting. All right, so I am commercial, or sorry, residential apparently. And by the way, you are going to hear, a, I don't want to say flippant, but a very casual tone. And it's fun when you guys watch it, but I don't want you to make the mistake of going, yeah, but you wouldn't, re oh, yes, I would. <laughs> Absolutely, I would. So what I don't want you to do is write down, Mike does it like this, and he says this kind of joke or this kind of silliness. If you have my vibe, then f go right at it. Very few of you do, Not the, probably to, the, to, to your benefit. That's probably a good thing. You gotta do it in your own vibe, right? But the, the one vibe that you wanna steal is, this is my level, right? She could be a complete raging psychopath and I'm just gonna smile and go, isn't that ridiculous? She could be super sweet and be like, oh, I just wanna buy. I'm not varying from my thing. That's the worst, by the way. Oh, you're the best, I wanna buy, I just wanna come out. They're, trust me, they're a very sophisticated buyer defense mechanism and they are playing you on. So it really doesn't matter how she shows up, I'm pretty much gonna be the same. So don't be my same, but do get the vibe of, man, doesn't matter, he's unflappable. Doesn't matter if she's all in or she's all out, she calls him a psychopath, he just goes right down the thing, doesn't seem to care. And their energy picks up on it. It's really hard to be a raging Nazi if you're just being silly, right? Because she's gonna start feeling like, it's like she's gonna start realizing, I'm being crazy to this person, like, I need price, and I, da, da. And I just go, whoa, you'll see. So the energy you wanna take, not the voice. So this energy in your voice. Everyone cool with not being like, I wanna be a crappy version of Mike, like I would be a crappy, if I try to do you, everyone get right off the bat, I'm no Renee, right? Cool. All right. Hello. This is Mike's residential cleaning service. How can I help you? All right. Actually, I wouldn't even say that. I go, hey, this is Mike. What's up? Hi, Mike. My name is Renee, and I was looking for um, somebody to come clean my house. Awesome. Do you have money? Because we've been looking for someone that has money and wants someone to clean their house. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yes. Yes. Uh, today's the day. <laughs> 
<laughs> like lots of money or just a little bit of money? <laughs> like in your wallet right now, what are we talking? Well, <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, I had no plan to say that. I would literally say that. I, the way she responded made me laugh and, and have fun. I, this is how it would show up. For my entertainment, not for her. So I don't want you to be like, write this exactly. This isn't a plan I had. And if she would have showed up differently to my being silly, I would have responded differently. So I'm very much responding to her. I have no, I mean, I have a loose plan that you guys will hear from the training, but see how we're going around it? This is just rapport. I'm enjoying her company, and I'm showing, if you're like, this is how Mike was at lunch. Yeah, because it's just me enjoying her company, which is going to be great, because if I'm going to go and serve her, I really like her, and I'm really enjoying her. So if you're like, why is he taking so long? Is it, should I do this long of rapport? No, I like her. She's being fun. I'm enjoying myself, so we're having fun. Right. Cool. Um, yeah, money. What you, what you got? Like, we talking like paper money? Like, Benjamin? Well, what are you talking here? Well, we have credit cards. We don't actually, oh, like, carry money. Our credit cards? You I don't want you, like, going to Hawk. <laughs> you don't have any credit cards? I would think with a business, you'd have credit cards. My wife has money. Sometimes she lets me have some. <laughs> <laughs> are you somebody's wife? Do you have his money? <laughs> Can we have some? <laughs> So whatever her sh potentially shitty agenda was to come on, I'm like, I'm just going to, it's gone. Yeah, it's done. Right. So she might have been like, I'm going to da 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 mm -hmm. None of that's gone. So if you should, and by the way, you might be going, this is ridiculous. It doesn't have to be my form of ridiculous, but when you sound like a salesperson and you quack like a salesperson, you're a salesperson. Mm -hmm. She may have lots of thoughts about me. Zero. Or this guy's going to try and sell me something. The cool thing is... I have lots of thoughts of me, and none of them, I'm going to try and sell this chick something. <laughs> I'm enjoying her company. I'm literally going to find out what's going on in her life and if I can help. And if I can, I will absolutely try to solve her problem. I'm not going to try and sell her anything. So the vibe is this is perfect. And by the way, next time, be a pain in the ass so they can see the other, other end. But Oh, I thought we were going to switch, but anyway. We can, can. but whoever's next being okay. the buyer, don't, you don't always have to be this way because this is a good look. But I want you to see, like, I'm just really, you're great. Like, I'm connecting with you as a human, and it's fun, and you're connecting with me. It makes it so much easier for us to have a real conversation. Mm -hmm. All right, so I would continue in that until one or both of us got bored, and yeah. I would kind of move on. So, all right, you have money, I want money. Let's let's get this party started, sister. Um, seriously, what uh, what made you reach out today of all days? Well, you know, the dogs are shut in, the cat's fur is all over the place. We have graduation party in two weeks, and I, I'm ripping my hair out, and I just said, let's give it a whirl and. If somebody can come and take care of this mess every couple weeks, I would be so happy for the summer. All right, so I just gave one little thing to see what kind of pain she has. What I'm looking for is exactly that. If mm -hmm. I could have written a script, it would have been that. Oh. Um, what I'm not looking for is, I don't know, I'm just getting 12 bids. My husband told me to do it. I don't care. Like, very cagey. And that's not her real feeling. That's a buyer, that would have been her, a buyer's defense mechanism. I'm going to call her right on it. Oh, mm -hmm. we'll call me when you got a problem, then we'll talk. And then she'll either hang up, good. Or she'll go, well, and then she'll tell me the truth, and then we can talk. This is perfect. Like, this is not. Well, maybe. If you get good rapport like that, maybe it will happen. Right? She's super light, loose and vibe, and she's like, I don't have to lie to this guy. I can just tell the truth. So I'm just looking for enough pain to continue the conversation. She gave me way more pain. To con so I wouldn't go any further in pain here, because we're going to have a real conversation in person. I just need enough to know if it's worth it to go in person. Just by your vibe of being cool and me enjoying you, and you going, I have pain, and I'm not shy about it. Done. So I'm going to go right to ground rules. That was all I needed for pain. Some of you guys are like, do I have to have a full pain conversation on the phone? Not when they're like that, you don't, right? So when they do that, we just move right on. If they're cagey and a pain in the ass, like, well, it's no big deal. I'm not sure. I'm just looking for price. That might be a five-minute deal to, to either get you off my phone like we're done or to get you to go, well, this is a big deal and I really do want to solve it. Beautiful. All right, so this is easy. I love doing that, but you start having fun, you'd be shocked how people show up like this. Um, and by the way, the commercial people don't be like, oh, that's residential. It's h harder with residential. They're more guarded. Commercial are used to, hi, this is this. I'm looking for this. They're used to that conversation. They're like, what? This guy's acting normal? They freaking love it because their whole con all they have is calls with pain in the ass people that are like professional. And when you're ridiculous, they're like, I dig this guy right off the bat. So commercial folks don't think this is... It's actually harder for, I did the same thing with the car dealership because we had a construction company we dealt with architects and city managers, very boring government people, and they freaking loved us being ridiculous. So I'm like, oh, when I go to retail, to customers, they're going to really go nuts. It was the opposite. They expected, because it almost came off as like, use car Harry, he's being wacky, which wasn't me, but that's what they'd experienced. The architects and contractors never experienced that. They always experienced professional people when you acted 
myself and the, the real, they're like, oh my gosh, I love it. So I want to encourage you. It's actually harder with residential. Commercial, it's easier because they're expecting another boring conversation. You show up like crazy Renee, they're like, oh, this is a real human being. I can connect with you as opposed to I'm a buyer, you're a vendor, I say this, you do that. You, the last thing you want is to be in that salesperson role. You want to be in the, oh, that's Mike, I dig Mike role. Like, God forbid any of you are like, that's Mike, he's the guy I pay money for coaching. I want you to be like, that's Mike, I love Mike, he's the best. Like, he's a human being that I care about, that cares about me. That's the relationship we want. Not, I give him money, he gives me services. That would, ugh, gross. Okay, so we got plenty of pain. Awesome. Um, thank you for sharing that. Um, and I'm not looking at you just because we're technically on the phone. Um, yeah, let me just get a little bit of information so when I come out, I make sure we can actually help you as opposed to wasting any of your time. Uh, first of all, when we come out, we need 20 minutes of uninterrupted focus time. I'm going to turn my cell phone off, give you every ounce of attention I got. Are you able to do the same thing? Yes, can we just make sure that I have some, the baby is down? Can we do it at a time when somebody else will have the kids? Oh, that would be great. I've got midnight on Tuesday. Oh my gosh. If you're up at midnight, I don't even know. Nope. I'm, <laughs> and again, I'm just busting chops. I really like her. That's not any part of anything. No, but that, that, that would be, get a mom to laugh. Yeah. That's where their brain Because she's up at midnight and she's like, are you kidding? That's the one 12 minute time. I have no one's asking me everything. And you're going to ruin it with talking about cleaning? Um, the good thing is that was a very sincere answer. Right, not flippant, not whatever. I didn't find her being a pain in the ass at all. She took what I said seriously. Well, I've got kids, and if it's a business, I'm very particular. Well, I don't let's screw off. If it's a housewife with kid, what am I going to say? You know what I'm saying? So that's the ideal situation. I want her to say, "Can we do it while someone's with my kids?" Oh my gosh, like you're the dream client. Why, we've been talking two minutes already. I'm like, I'm dying to serve you, lady. Um, so that was a really good answer. I'm just busting your chops because we have that oh, relationship. So I'd say that, you'd laugh, and I'd go, absolutely, I love that this is important enough to you that you want to really focus. We'll make sure we do that in the scheduling. Um, that said, for whatever reason, and I gotta be honest, I don't think this would be the case because you seem delightful, but if I get out there and for whatever reason, I don't think we're the best in the world to help you, if I tell you that, are we gonna be okay? Well, yeah, because if I don't like you, I don't want you and your team in my house. That's my next step. If for whatever reason you don't like me, <laughs> will you tell me to piss right off and not uh, tell me a bunch of lies how you're going to think about it? Yeah, I'm not always known for my tact. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get along smashingly well, young lady. Um, awesome. So we got the time. We got the. Oh, last thing. Um, to make sure that I actually, before I make any proposal to help you, I know what the heck's going on out there. Can I ask you a bunch of questions about what's going on, why you're miserable, and really get a clear picture? Are you okay with me asking some of those questions? Sure. As long as if you ask something I don't want to answer, you're okay with me telling you that. It depends what it is. So I'd play more. So yeah. at that point, I'm literally booking a call. She just said exactly what I needed her to say, right? So hopefully you guys got it. A little bit of rapport. For her, it was a lot because she was just super easy to connect with. Ground rules being uninterrupted time, which she absolutely showed up for. Um, if I don't think it's a fit, can I tell you? Yes. If you don't think it's a fit, can you tell me? Yes. Um, what was the last thing? Okay, do I have permission to ask you a bunch of questions? Mm -hmm. So that way when we ask a bunch of questions, she doesn't go, I thought, blah, 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 blah. You're like, I told you. Done and done. And then I'm just going to find a time when you're, um, I say, I'll get you coming. I'm just going to find a time when your kids aren't available. We're going to book the yeah. hell out of that. So if you take out all my side talk, what was that like a four minute conversation? That does not have to be a long time. And do you think when I show up, what are the likelihood of this chick? There's no chance. I mean, unless she's in a trailer park, which, and you start hearing people, like the voice of her, this is not a woman that's poor. They give you all sorts of cues. I already know this is, in my book, done. I will close, I hate saying closing, I will help this woman 98% of the time. It was something shocking would have to, you'd have to show up a completely different human on the appointment than how you showed up on the phone. Do you have a question? The last of those ground rules, would you also want it to be, if we do mutually agree this is a good fit, what would you like to see next? Yes, yes. crap. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, no. So in case yeah. you wanted the good training, just talk to John. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're, in, you're helping 43% of your commercial biz. Yeah, yeah. totally forgot. I've only done it a thousand times. My fault. I'm new here. Um, <laughs> He's more awesome. than me, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I violated the exact thing I told you to worry about. I just did live. I liked her so well, and I'm sitting there yapping my gums about how, what, how confident I am in this, and then I forget the key thing, that the observer was able to go, hold on, boss, didn't you miss the whole thing? Yes, I did. So once we did the yes, yes, bef actually before the, um, 
can ask you a bunch of questions. And I guess the order isn't fine, isn't that important, but great. So for whatever reason I get out there, I know I can help you, and you haven't been able to disqualify me at all for price, my looks, my accent, whatever. What would you like to see happen next? Not, you guys translate that sometimes weirdly into, if I can't disqualify you, you can't disqualify me, you're gonna buy, right? That's gross, don't do that. <laughs> What would you like to see happen next? Well, I'm going to get 12 other bids. I'm going to talk to my husband. I'm going to take a poll amongst the neighbors. I'm going to whatever. <laughs> oh, and we're going to solve that now, not uh, tomorrow when I'm driving out there and doing all that nonsense. So thank you for that. That was a huge catch. That's why we have observers. Did someone say something? Can you repeat it one more time? The question? If for whatever reason I'm not a fit, I don't think we're the best in the world to help you. Can I tell you? Yes. If for whatever reason you don't think I'm a fit, will you just be square with me and let me know? If we're not able to disqualify, fight each other and I know I absolutely can rock your world and you're super excited what would you like to see happen next so not let me tell you what I want what would you like to see happen next this is all in 6.1 by the way <laughs> thank you for that John absolutely spot on good thing is when you get reported that that's good you don't but you can miss you can get half the stuff wrong and it'll still be fine um, cool that was the first part that quick that easy we had one great observation. Any other observation? Actually, keep that up to this one. Any other observations? This is the value, guys. If you didn't write anything down and get anything, maybe it was entertaining, but you didn't get any value. So I remember when I first started learning all this stuff, you know, I would do that. And I got relaxed, and we just did a bid for a commercial restaurant at a uh, golf course and uh, sent the guy out there to go do the bid. And he just said, all right, give us the bid. And he goes, I need you to give me some input. The guy goes, nope, got to go. So we wasted our time doing the bid. We wasted our time, present, you know, making the bid and then sending it off to them. And then we couldn't even get an email, so I had to call their controller and get their email. So if we followed that part, we wouldn't have wasted all that time and energy. Probably t three hours lost. And what that Minimum? looks like, because if you set it up like this, that will solve 80% of that, not 100. There'll be people that test you, typically the high Ds, you, me, there's some guys that are like, we'll see. Um, and what that looks like is, so let's role play that, let's say, well, we'll do that next because we're going to do it. So, all right, who else had an observation that would be good for you to articulate and perhaps for the good of the whole? Um, so yesterday we were talking about mentioning, um, like I know you did mention, but like, oh, how much money you have to spend on, basically what's your budget, um, to kind of filter out if they're the right client. Um, would you be like asking further questions really around that? Question. Excellent question, so y'all got that. With this lady, not even a bit, because yeah. she had real pain, yeah. and I hate to say it, but you can, when you do enough of these calls, you start getting how they show up you tells have a feel, you yeah. And I mean, she did say, yeah, I got money. So we joked about money and that certainly made me feel more comfortable. But the way she was speaking about her pain, she was articulate. I just got no weird vibe yeah. with her. So you certainly could. And I'd say do it probably on residential, maybe 30%. Just if you get a vibe that there's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. But she was so just like, boom. Yeah. I'm like, why am I going to bust this lady's chops? Perfect. Excellent question. One more would be great. Well, a little, a little clue she gave with money, too, is that it was no problem to have someone else watch her kids. I don't know. I've just known. <laughs> and yeah. she's like, oh, I have nobody to watch my kids, or her hesitating, because that will cost money to have someone watch her kids, which is, I don't know. That, 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 is, to me. that is probably what? something I internalize naturally without articulating, but it's so much better when you can go when you can pull it apart and go, this is why, as opposed to me going, no, I get a good vibe. So when you get a good vibe, she's like, well, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's an excellent clarification. Uh, and this is more just like a celebration of the whole, we did the same thing on February. And I was one of the people that role played with you. I remember that. Uh, take, I was taking lots of notes at the time. Um, and that was right around when we were trying to ramp up as much of these conversations as possible in our business. Um, hungry, not desperate. I, I was hungry. Not desperate. If you ask her, I was desperate. <laughs> um, but the, the more of these I went on, like you just said, the, the more cues I was picking up on. And these mm -hmm. phone conversations and the in-person meetings uh, until the point where we got to, uh, really it really was last month, where I felt like it was a sweet spot, where I, I could disqualify people in a, in a heartbeat on, a, on the phone because of things they were saying. And then the comment I got from one of the last people we sat down with was uh, towards the end of our sit down, we didn't even walk the space yet. We just sitting down, uh, finished asking my question. She said, you know, 
and there was two of them there. We've never had anybody, speaking of vendors, ever go about a, a sit down like this ever. We feel really hurt. Mm. Before we even walked the space, I knew that we were going to sell them because they all I did was what you preach here is learn their pain and articulate it back to them in a way that with words that they use. And I and you mentioned in the last role play to summarize or bullet point their pain back to them at the end of the conversation to really drive it home, which is what I did. And then that was the, the end result of it. Them saying, well, we feel really hurt. We've never heard anybody do it, do it this way. Um, and, and it was semantics after that point. It, it really is. And I love that you said that because we get in our head about pricing. It's the price, it's the price. It's mm -hmm. never the price. You want 100% of the people to feel, I feel heard this guy or this, especially by the way, for the fellows that, ladies, you get an advantage, you just do, sorry, it doesn't matter if you're selling to a, a female or a male, men have to work harder. So, especially big guys, like Spencer has to work really hard at this, Roger, you might have to be careful too. Um, we are already physically intimidating, so to that I feel heard, we want every single client to feel that, or every single prospect to hear that, and when they say it, God bless. Another really good one is, Oh my God, that's perfect. You you get me. You, oh my, and you literally are like, yeah. You think it's genius? It's your words. <laughs> and sometimes I'll say that, and they laugh every time. Um, yeah. So that's what we're looking for. The feeling. If you get the verbalization, that's just great. But the feeling of I feel heard. Well, here we are at the end of the podcast, and you made it. Great job. Uh, I've got a little bonus for you before for sticking through with me, but like I mentioned before, if you got value out of this podcast and you want to show a little love, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Spotify, wherever the heck you're listening to this thing. Share it with a friend. Share the love. And as a special thank you for those of you that stuck with me at the end, how about I give you my personal phone number so we can text? It's a great way for me to get to know you, your business, your goals personally. So shoot me a text now, 602-932-6431. That's 602-932-6431. I am the only one who responds to these texts, and I will personally respond to everyone I possibly can, as long as uh, this number is manned. I uh, don't know how long we're going to keep this at the end of the podcast, so grab it now. 602-932-6431. Give me a text. Say hey. Can't wait to meet you.